And that already on top of me having to make Monel a suit. <clears throat> Monel. Oh yeah, didn't you hear? He graduated from superhero kindergarten. So now I have to make him a suit, according to Tara. And then that just means more work for me. Wait, so that, that fat boy wants to be a superhero? Stay on point, all right? Wynn, Wynn is tired. Really? Hey, the workload, the woman, the car, it's yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
cosplay sucks. That's not nice. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, the same thing as you, buddy. Did you know that most scientists experiment He's on gonna themselves it. first? Oh. You know what I love? Little boys who think they can do a better job than the woman who's an actual superhero. Oh, wow. Pathetic. To drain that little battery completely to pull it off. But you two are worth it. We will never fight for you. You will. You. You might definitely die. Leave her alone. Oh, what do you care? She's a bad guy. Wow. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You two go get down. I'll save my wire. I'll Let's save her. Start today. It's my son. This guy. Isaiah. So we just finished watching Supergirl. Supergirl is one of our favorite shows that we like to watch. Notice we have our onesies today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, so Isaiah, what do you think about this episode? I know this is probably not true, but I think they were in the past and that might be John Jones because he said that he was the last of his kind. And that might have been him in the past, because he said he's the last of his kind, so... Hmm. Eh. Well, no, 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 no. I thought it was nice to see him reach out to her and, and forgive her, and, and then also shows how she had a change of heart, and she actually betrayed her own people for the goodness, and for out of compassion, so that was good, and I liked how... Um, Oh, I think those two are going to have an interesting rapport. <laughs> so that would be good. Okay. So what do you think about when when uh, Livewire said, okay, because um, she wanted to kill him, but then Supergirl said, no, don't do it. What do you think about that? Nothing much, really. But I know this may seem very, very, very um, <laughs> the opposite of a kind-hearted person. But out of all the experiences I saw in comics of DC... Whenever the uh, whenever the superhero lets the bad guy go, the bad guy always messes up the good hero by always oh I can't by always messing them up and always killing them. But uh, it would be kind of a little bit more safer if she just put her in the cell. So yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be interesting because then I think Livewire will probably want to get a revenge on Supergirl somehow, but. It's got to be for a good reason for them to have another showdown. She so, just, what do you think about when when Supergirl found out it was James as Guardian? 
when you think about that, when she took, he wanted to tell her, but then she was so caught up in her own thing. Supergirl's fault. And then. She should have known. How could she should have known? Because James said that he was, that he was going to tell her something, but then she got caught up in her own thing. Right. But then when she took off the mask and she found that it was him, and then she found out that that um, Alex and Wynn and him, they all knew, the three of them knew, and so she was really mad at him. Uh, do you think she was right in getting mad at him for keeping mm -hmm. it a secret and not telling her? Because she, at the end, she still, at the end, they said, we still want to work with you, but she said, I can't. She said that if you're going to be putting yourself in danger, I can't. And I think it's because she she just had too much love for them that if anything happened to them, she would feel extremely guilty. So if anything, she would want to keep she would want to protect her friends and not have them out on the streets helping her fight the villains. So I think it'll be um, we'll just see how it goes. A <laughs> good answer. <laughs> We'll just see how it goes. <laughs> um, what other parts did you like? That kind of what? What other funny parts could you think of? That's what Livewire said to James and uh, my well. Where's the real Supergirl? And, like, and then they're like, not here. And then she said, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she goes, Who are you? And he said, Oh, not I'm Supergirl. And then he said, Manel said, Oh, I'm. What did he say? He said, Oh, I'm Superman. In training, and she's like, "Oh my gosh!" She looks like she's like, "Ah, who are these?" Rip I'd rather off? die. She said, "I'd rather die." <laughs> okay. So, so she says straight up to Monel, honey. It's Monel, uh... not Manuel. Monel. <laughs> Anyways, um, what else? I I think so. I think overall from this episode, I thought it was pretty from good. One to ten. Oh, from one to ten. Mm hmm. Well, I like the action. I like the storyline. I'd give it a seven. Yeah. Okay, so what would you give it from one to ten? I said. What would you say? I said six. Oh, okay. Well, why would you give this episode a six? Well, I like episodes that like affect the people and not, not like normal problems where they just face villains. But even though those apply to the real, like the, um, like the, like the main superhero episodes, but... Um, I really like the episodes that they're talking about what's actually happening, about what's going on, like um, Supergirl um, fighting with Superman, or um, John James fighting with Miss Martian. And yeah, I just like when they do actually like episodes that um, that are pretty important, not like like when they just catch a bill this episode because it's pretty. It's okay when they just catch a bill. So do you think this one was just kind of simple, like a simple storyline? It covers some details, but yeah, pretty simple, I guess. Okay, all right. Well, it sounds like that's our review for tonight. See you tomorrow. Good night. I'll say zero. Bye. Bye.